when I look at this team and the way that they're built, when I look at position players, I have four positions that I'm concerned are not league average or better. First base, shortstop, catcher, and left field. That's a lot of positions. Okay? Defensively. Defense. Defensively. De offensively, they're going to rip the cover off the ball. There's no question about it. They, are they too right-handed? In my opinion, yes. Do they? Are they uh, lacking in uh, players that hit for average? Yes. Situation? Yes. You, you, you've heard me say that so many times, and I still feel I still feel that way. And I'm saying it in advance. Uh, last year, uh, the Sabermetrics crowd uh, they uh, nominated Clint Frazier for a Gold Glove. I don't, I'm not sold on him defensively. He doesn't come right. in on the ball that well. He just doesn't have the instincts. And when he goes back, uh, you know, he ran into a fence uh, last week in spring training on a home run ball. And uh, I have a concern with that. Uh, yeah. Glaber, he's good defensively, but he just looks more comfortable at second. I don't know if he's a born shortstop. Luke, behind the plate, that's a lot of positions. When it comes to the postseason, you need all elements to, to be a championship caliber team. And in my opinion, what's missing is the situational offense that needs to be taken, just tweaked a little bit and defensively don't compromise yourself at key position. Catcher is a key position. Shortstop is a key position. Left field, first base, not quite as much, but let me tell you, first base, just think about it. With, you know, in a key situation, there's so many things that could happen. Just as I was talking about Jay Bruce, you just don't make that scoop, okay? Right. Or you don't turn that 363. You know, and again, if the Yankees are in a collision course with, let's say, the Los, Los Angeles Dodgers, but Mookie Betts put them over the top. Why? No question. Think about it. Great defense in the outfield. I mean, just extraordinary defense in the outfield. Uh, hits to all fields. Uh, and also great base runner. And you look at what happened in the postseason. They almost got knocked out by Atlanta. He saved, he turned that series around there. He, you know, he, he, he won, you know, he helped win the world series with, with the base running and everything else. It all matters in the postseason. Okay. We're in the eighth inning, a two, two game, uh, two outs, Bo Bichette at the plate. He hits what I would consider a relatively routine ground ball to second, but it speaks to a point that I've uh, made for a while that Jay Bruce is not a legitimate first baseman. Uh, Jay Bruce should instinctively know that he has no reason to break for the ball and should go right to the bag immediately, but he doesn't. Let's take a look at this play. We'll see how it develops uh, in slow motion. But there's two uh, points that I would like to make regarding this. So, again, relatively routine play to second base, but look at Jay Bruce. No man's land. He should have been covering first base. Should be a routine play. Instead, you have Loisica. Give him credit. He's athletic. He's on the ball and he gets to the bag, but you don't want your pitcher having to cover first base on that play. That's the first baseman's uh, responsibility, that play. He should instinctively know not to not to go for that ball and get to first base. So Loisega, uh, to his credit, made the play. But could you imagine if that throw was behind him or in front of him, you could have a collision, uh, you could roll an ankle. There's a million things that could be happening on plays on a long throw from uh, from, uh, from the outfield grass. Now, DJ LeMayu, I mean, he's a pro's pro. He's a gold glover, two-time gold glover, as a matter of fact. So he made a, a beautiful play and a uh, perfect throw. But if that throw is not perfect, you could risk injury on that. So I'm not trying to hate on Jay Bruce. I understand that we have an injury to Luke Voigt, but there are other options that we, in different directions, we could have gone. My only point is that Jay Bruce is not a legitimate first baseman.